have a look at the HNC in operations engineering. We're going to have a look at some of the units, where do you start, which order do you take the units in, and some study tips. Okay, let's dive straight in. Right, so we have some mandatory core units for this program as we do for all the programs. Not necessarily in this order, but we have engineering design, maths, science, and project. In addition, you have some specialist mandatory units for this particular program. And here you are looking at well, what we call one of the specialist groups. You're going to be looking at pneumatics and hydraulics, operations and plant management, electrical systems and fault finding, CAD for maintenance engineers, computer aided design essentially. And as it says here, you need to pick three or at least three from this group for the operations engineering HNC okay you have optional units and basically you're going to select one unit from all the other level four units including possibly that other one that you didn't do in that specialist group that's entirely up to you okay but we have 20 plus options at Unicourse for you to study on. Okay, let's have a look at where you're going to start. Now on this particular program, as with all the HNC engineering programs, we like you to start with maths followed by the science. Okay, then you're going to pick three of those four optional specialist mandatory units that we just looked at and do them in sequence. Then you're going to pick a level four option, which could be all the other ones. It could be robotics or mechanical or fluids or whatever it might be, or another one of those optional specialists. Okay. Finally, you um, settle on engineering design. And the last but not least is your project. Okay. So you need some good underpinning knowledge from all those previous modules um, to produce a good design and a really good project. Okay, let's have a look at some study tips for this program. Go in here, let's think about the workbooks initially. Okay, now we do recommend that you read through the workbooks. The workbooks are written here by teachers such as myself and colleagues, um, and they're very specialist workbooks for the HNC program. Okay, and in particular attention you need to give to the worked examples which are in the workbooks because they're going to help you enormously when you tackle the assignment questions. Okay, let's have a look at some tips regarding modules. Um, well, a nice simple tip here. Stick to one module at a time. Okay, keep your mind focused on one topic or set of topics. Don't be jumping from maths to science to essay-based type research uh, modules just keep your focus and it will work out better uh, probably a better grade uh, more enjoyable qualification for you okay the assignment tips please uh, wait for feedback from the tutor or assessor um, quite often you may do things like not include the units or SI units as we call them or maybe you're having your calculator in the wrong mode for some reason. Um, so, you know, that would be noticed on the first assignment. And provided you haven't done assignment two and three in a rush, then it's going to be really useful for you that you're not carrying on mistakes, filtering them through. Okay. Now then, in terms of format, um, for maths and science, we always recommend that you handwrite your assignments, okay? Because you might be looking out little notes in the margin or wherever and little sketches here and there to help the, uh, the tutor assess your thinking and your method. Um, quite often you might get the answer wrong, but you might get the marks for that particular section because you used a good method, but you maybe you made a silly error at the end or something. Okay, so if possible, please um, handwrite your maths and your science units. Okay, drafts, well unfortunately we do not accept drafts and if we looked at drafts for everybody, everyone would be getting distinction and it wouldn't be a fair qualification. 
Um, so we try to keep everything as fair as possible, a level playing field for all students. However, if you've got problems regarding some basic principles which in, you need to understand the question fully, then yeah, of course, give us a ring, but we can't give you the answers, basically. Okay. But we always want to help, even on a weekend. And finally, if you're rusty on maths, then we have a really excellent, according to all the feedback, excellent bridging maths course, um, as it says here, which is very popular. And uh, that normally helps lots of people to um, gain the confidence to do really well on the HNC programme.